design last night. This morning I woke up and I was like, it would actually be cool if I could build this design into a real application. But I've never done any development or whatsoever, so we're gonna try to attempt this and I'll take you along with me. After I was done with the sketch, I basically just turned them into a Figma file. so now we are done with the design how do we turn this into a desktop application i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know but i do know that i want it to be like a desktop application so it should be like a dot app on my mac so i'm gonna go dig around on like google and chat gpts to figure out what we have to use in order to do that <laughs> All right, after some digging, I found that there's a thing called Electron.js that allows you to use JavaScript, HTML, and CSS to build a cross-platform desktop apps, which I think is what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go give this a try. Alright, it's been like 4 hours and I was able to set up my first Electron app. This is what we have right now, she's a little like hello world, but she's working, so this is a good sign. Hello, this is the next day and I am hoping to finish the application today, but I don't know, we'll see. So first, I'm gonna work on the app skeleton. This is the like basic barebone version of the app that has all the functions that we need, which are selecting a menu and starting and stopping a timer. After a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT, this is what we got. She's exactly what I want that functions to be. So now we just need to make her pretty with HTML and CSS. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the HTML of the start page. This is the design that we are trying to achieve and this is what we have right now. Guys, the start page is finally done. She looks exactly like the design file, so I am so happy about this. Now we're gonna start on a menu page. So this is a prototype that I have in Figma and I am trying to recreate this animation part in VS Code. There should be a way to loop an image sequence in HTML CSS. I'm gonna try to figure that out. And we're done! This is it! The next step would be to add some sounds. I do want to add like a real sound once the timer goes off and maybe like a little sound effect when you click on all these little buttons. But I am super happy with what we have today. So I will see you in the final walkthrough. Bye!